Let's talk about our weather here at home, which is a, such a contrast, because you can see blue sky if you take a look from the top of the Salesforce out past Sutra to the distance, but look at high-def Doppler, and it is a different story. I've got some light rain on here. So you're not crazy if you feel like you got spit on or sprinkled on within the last few hours, especially down in the South Bay. Light showers at best down here, you know, maybe down around Fremont. But if we go to the south, it's more noticeable once you get down around Santa Cruz, and then it gets a lot more noticeable once you go down along the central coast. That's really where this is. And if we look at how this is happening, there you can see it on water vapor, counterclockwise spin. See it? Cut off low that's sitting out there. It's been off California for like the last week and a half, but the center of it was like down here, and we were noticing clouds from it day after day. This thing's like a week and a half old. And now it's just drifted far enough north that it's finally thrown us a few showers. This is kind of like the grand finale because tomorrow it's gone and we will have more blue sky and uh, you'll be able to tell the system has left. The skies are going to look different. They're going to look better if you wanted to get rid of the constant cloudiness. Daytime highs today will go to the low 60s. If we look at the big picture, other than that system, we'd really need to look out here for any significant, meaningful storms. That's where they'd have to come from. And right now, they're all going around, up and over the long way. And if we watch the way the atmosphere is going to behave over the next six days, deeper shades of red show you strong high pressure. Blue is low pressure. That is a huge contrast. And that's a block in the atmosphere, a big ridge of high pressure as we get to later this week, which is going to be parked right off the coast. When we go into our long, dry, relatively warm streaks, that is what this map looks like. And that's where we're going to be by the end of the week. If we take the storm track and kind of put it over that, watch right here. That's where all the storms, it's kind of like the freeway right there. They're all getting routed up and over the ridge. We miss out on it. And if you look at the temperatures, we will also be above average. By the time we get there, huge difference. That's why we're showing you the storms on the East Coast. When one side of the country goes through one extreme, another half usually goes through the other, and we're splitting it right down the middle. That's the end of the week. It's not like we're going to get a heat wave out of this, but we will be close to 10 degrees above average by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. And you can see that. Look at San Jose. It's going to be 67 degrees on Sunday. Almost 70. And if we take a look at the microclimates, we'll see temperatures here that will also range that way as well for the North Bay Valleys. Uh, and we'll see temperatures in the inland valleys of the East Bay State in the low 60s. So no rain, not for the next seven days, and probably not until, really, we get into early February before we can realistically start thinking about that again, guys. All right, back over to you.